Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Rosa Garage. Now we got the C706 on deck and we're about to work on this shit real quick and go through some maintenance stuff. Let's check it out. This morning when I was driving in, I thought I popped some hoses or something underneath. I saw a puddle of oil underneath the drive sump under on the passenger side. So uh, we checked it out and uh, it looks like it was nothing to be honest. Uh, I, I remember driving in earlier this morning and there was a puddle just on the ground and I thought it was like water. I thought sprinklers went off or something. I had turned out to be someone popped the oil pan or something. I drove right through that shit not knowing. So uh, thankfully that was nothing. But right now we're gonna get into uh, doing the oil change. But first we're gonna run this BG EPR fluid. Run that for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna be doing the oil change. And uh, also swapping up the supercharger belt. And we swapped out the, uh, the tension of pulley. We're gonna start up with this BG EPR. We're going to put this in the oil, let it run for about 30 minutes based on the instructions and uh, hopefully I should clean up some of the uh, engine grime and uh, all, the, all the deposits that are, are settled into the motor, you know, being a DI motor, hopefully I should clean it up. We're going to put about two cans, top off the oil and uh, run it for 30, 30 minutes, changing the belt out with some with the, uh, tensioner pulley. The uh, last one's to make a little bit of a squeak on startup, so we got rid of that to see what else we got going on. Um, about to empty out this catch can and uh run some 040 euro that's the one to get and uh we had to do a little cleaning on these intakes now we just got to get into the action of trying to put everything together all right so what's up everybody we're back at the house got the car all cleaned up you know got the, all the maintenance done it's ready for the weekend it's driving great uh, some people might ask, what's the reason behind running the BGPR? Now, by my understanding, it helps clean the buildup uh, on the backside of the valves and uh, around the pistons from when the oil burns up in the intake system. Uh, that could be because of how shitty these PCB systems are on the Chevys, but you know, it's the best we can do. And uh, I gotta come up with a solution to help the dry sun breathe better. Um, and I'm show you here in a second. I go over a little details on what makes it a Callaway Z06. I mean, I'm sure you can tell one thing pretty obviously, but we'll go into a little detail right now. So this is my 2017 C7 Z06, and I've got the wheels. Uh, they stick out, you know, with, with the help of some spacers from Part Shop Max and some Part Shop Max lugs. Pretty nice uh, setup there. The color itself is pretty unique. It's a Watkins Glen Green Metallic. Camera doesn't do it justice, but it has a lot of metallic flake in it. It's pretty nice. One of the unique things that it comes with is the roof being in exposed carbon fiber and the hood being in exposed carbon fiber, the side skirts and the front lip in, it in carbon fiber. And it's pretty unique. Uh, you know, it's pretty nice to have that option. Definitely don't see a lot of Corvettes with that. So if you got it, appreciate it. It's probably going to be more in value. Uh, I mean, I don't see a lot of them there. A lot of them are mostly in paint. Uh, interior is pretty nice too. The carbon fiber on the dash, Alcantara on the wheel, carbon fiber on the wheel as well. The competition seats and the red belts. And it's also got the short shifter from Callaway and the Callaway badging, as well as right here on the door sill. Uh, definitely not no AMG, but uh, as far as how Corvettes have come up over time, it's definitely advanced. I mean, look at the video playing on the screens. I mean, it's really, really nice. Um, and to the key point of the what makes it a Callaway is a supercharger. Now this is a 2.3 liter supercharger. Definitely an upgrade from the smaller 1.7 that comes factory. It makes 757 as you can see, but I believe this thing makes a little bit more. Uh, definitely was a jump up from the 570 originally dynoed, which I believe was an issue on the tuning aspect of it. But I've definitely got some upgrades. Now what makes this a Callaway, besides the supercharger, it does come with a bigger intake. And it comes with some cooling mods as far as like, you know, the intercooler and bigger fans. But I've upgraded those to a little bit bigger size. It has the Cortez Ice Tank and the Mighty Mouse Catch Can. Uh, this really just helps the IATs drop down a lot more, uh, makes more power. And uh, one of the things I mentioned earlier about the PCB system being so crappy um, is, the, is that right there, this line. Now what that does is it allows the dry sump to breathe and uh, be able to push air back into the intake. Um, but what's happening is I have that baffle there now, so it allows the oil and air to separate, but now the oil is being caught up into the intake. And if you have a LT4 and you're experiencing the same issue, 
or you have addressed this issue, please comment down below. I think GM should definitely fix this issue. Uh, now, I definitely have a few things that I want to upgrade in the future, uh, like the pulley. Definitely want to send the supercharger out to Calm Performance to get ported, ported and polished, bigger throttle bodies, uh, and all the works, you know, heads of camera, all that. Definitely want to do all that stuff. And uh, that'll be pretty unique. So that pretty much wraps up the Z06. Uh, I'll give you a little in-depth tour about it. Um, definitely a handful. I didn't do much DIY stuff on this one. I figured some of the stuff is pretty straightforward, but if you're looking for some DIY stuff, uh, shoot a comment down below. I'll definitely get it on the next one. Uh, I definitely got some more projects going on and uh, stay tuned. I appreciate all you guys watching. Uh, I know I'm a small channel right now, but I just want to let you know that I'm, I'm here because of you guys and my passion of cars. And I'll be, I love sharing this stuff with you guys. So uh, thank you so much. Like, share, and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one.